All right, hello, ladies and gents, and welcome to Mouse Sports versus Over Gaming. Obviously, it's been a bit of a a bit a bit of a poor delay. Unfortunately, there was uh, there was problems on Over Gaming's end, but hopefully, uh, we're about to go live. Assuming what the admins are saying is true regarding the players uh, sorting out all their issues. So, obviously, Over Gaming, X Wizards uh, lineup, of course. And Hoss, what do you think? Yeah, well, I haven't seen much of Overgaming or the Spanish CSGO scene, but we've covered mouse sports quite a bit recently in the uh, ESL1 qualifiers, and they certainly showed up on those days, so hopefully they'll be able to pull through yet again here, unless Overgaming put up a bit of a fight. I was looking at their past record, and unfortunately they're 0-5 at the moment, but I believe, as you said, they were ex-wizards, so they've gone through a change of org, so that may affect how they play today. All right, well, people in the chat, let us know if the volumes need adjusting, since uh, it's safe to say that me and you, Hoss, are always terrible as far as volumes uh, <laughs> volumes concerned. But anyways, guys, you've asked for it, and I don't know if Hoss has ever heard one of these before, but Hoss, from time to time, I cast knife yeah. rounds in a Russian accent, and well, I haven't done a lot recently because I've been representing Gfinity and ESL and stuff, but now... Um, let's do this! So knife round, mouse sports, the Germans versus over gaming from Spain! Whoop! Nuki getting carom beat kill! It's anybody's knife round! And wow, the man from Finland, Alu, gets the kill and hots! Mouse sports from Germany, they win the knife round, what do you think? So they're most likely gonna stick on this CT side here. Hmm. Uh, Mirage is that way inclined. Uh, it's about 60-40, it's nothing huge, but... Getting yeah, an early advantage is always nice, both mentally and uh, actually in-game as well. And, and we game. are live, I believe. Straight into it. Not live. No, not live? Okay. Kai is lagging, apparently. Ah. Uh, Lovely jubbly. Yeah, so we've got three games tonight, I believe it. Well, three games here, and then you've got a uh, fourth over with Two-Face, I believe. Yeah, Two Face. Uh, he basically came to me and said he hasn't done much on his channel and he needs to, otherwise he might get in trouble. So give him a give a give him a hand. He is doing the game on CS:GO land, so hopefully, uh, hopefully it'll be decent. Uh, it'll be, of course, Mouse Sports versus Reason. Let's be honest, it's pretty much the biggest game that is going as far as CS:GO competitive CS:GO is concerned today. And Reason, obviously, with a new lineup, no one's really seen what their new new lineup's capable of. I think it'll be their first competitive game. But hey, we know what over gaming can do, and we most certainly know what Mouse Sports are capable of with their new player Alu in the side. So why don't you take us uh, take us away for the pistol round? I certainly will do. So, over gaming are uh, coming from Spain against the Germans of Mouse Sports here. Alu, the newest member, is uh, he's only he's played a couple of games already, uh, but uh, top EU level with German team, but. In a different competition today, and it is, of course, the Star Ladder Season 10, I believe it is. Smoke's going out into window to start things off, meaning that Overgaming can rotate through mid if they want to. Elsewhere, Leggy is playing pretty safe on this B site right now, getting ready to throw a frag. But here we go, Flash is going out onto short. One goes over, a second Flash goes over. Gonna get hit up by that nade from Leggy here. Flippin's gonna get the first one there as the enter the site, unfortunately. Chris J gets two. Tabson with a third for Mouse Sports. Ooh. Playful Flippin's going to get his second of the round. However, Alu going down as well to Musam Van Bert. <laughs> Leggy and Tabson. Or Tabson's getting the last two of that round. Mouse Sports winning the pistol round on Mirage. Yeah, I was happy to see Tabson get those last two fries because, in my opinion, that entire round was all about Tabson. He, he pushed all the way through A through towards uh, T-spawn, and he was pretty much able to call to his teammates and tell them, guys, there's no overgaming players outside of A, which is why the Mouse Sports players rotated to B fast, and here we go, uh, overgaming, of course, R and Eco, they're all going to come to that same man, Tabson, Tabson with the double before going down to Lowy's uh, P250, and now it's the new Mouse player to try and prevent the bomb from going down. It has gone down, meaning overgaming will be able to force the buy next round and buy up AK Kalashnikov, so here we go, Legia with the headshot, and well, Alu takes out the rest of the trash, and as expected, Hoss, 2-0 to Mouse Sports, nothing special there, but I guess Overgaming will be happy with not only dropping two Mouse Sport players, but also planting the bomb. 
Yeah, the bomb was definitely important there. Um, I'm not sure if they can buy up this round. No, they can't. So they're going to have to go uh, another eco here. Because they got the bomb down in one round, but unfortunately the pistol round didn't go for them. They weren't able to get the extra cash that they needed. Mouseport's been able to buy M4s all round, except for Legia, who's selling for a FAMAS, maybe looking to buy an AWP in a round or two. She's going to be saving some money there. Of course, the Tech 9 did get nerfed, so we won't be seeing a lot of those, and players are going to be opting for the CZs instead, which we're seeing here from Overgaming. So he makes their way... Or Ari makes his way through under pass. Tabson's opening things up there with one. Mession with the CZ will get the headshot onto the German player. Nuki making it four versus three now. Overgaming looking quite dangerous with their ecos, it has to be said. The last one they got the bomb down and got two members. So far they've dropped Alu down to 27 and Tabson is no longer alive. They're slow walking it round into B and this is a great move here, I think. The Legia who's still in window and Chris J's in kitchen, if they're able to get onto this site and just pick off Chris J straight away, then they can get the bomb down pretty safely. For now, they're just playing for time. Be waiting it out so that Nookie and Alu have less time to rotate and they catch the CTs off by surprise. They're going to wait till about 20 seconds, so maybe in a few seconds they're going to make a move. And here we go, they're going for it. Legia's going to be, Legia hears it, he's rotating straight away to this B site. Gets the headshot straight away. Great play from him. Bomb does go down, but Chris J will pick up the frag afterwards. So, at least Overgaming do get the money for the bomb plant. And Ali's finishing, up, finishing things up with the headshot there. It was great tactical play there from Overgaming, they held it out. And we're able to get the bomb down, so they're going to be able to go into the next round with a healthy amount of money. Yeah, fair play to them in Mouse Sports. And it's quite surprised not to see Overgame Enforcer by having, you know, getting, uh, having seen them getting the bomb down in, in the second round. But maybe they just wanted that little bit extra cash to buy an AWP. And, and no, I mean, did they not have, have enough money after planting the bomb? Surely uh, they, they were sitting on about 2.8k, I think, three of their members. Really? So, yeah. yeah maybe they must have. Deary me, I don't, I don't know, I don't know what, what went wrong then, maybe, I don't know, I don't know, <laughs> but anyways, 3-0 to <laughs> Mal Sports and Overgaming, the team from Espana, have finally got AKs in hand, we thought they were going to go for an AWP, but they haven't, and hello, hello, Chris J and Alu have pushed all the way up mid, Chris J goes down before Mustang Bani drops tabs, and, and this isn't good whatsoever from the Germans, Kyrie might get an easy frag here onto Legia, yes he does, Leaving it four versus two. And what have Mouse Sports done? They've literally just walked into overgaming at mid and just let them let them wipe the floor with them. That was I think they were trying something different. I think they wanted to tr take overgaming by surprise. But judging from what we saw that round, I don't think they're gonna be trying it again. Musan Bani at mid, Nookie close by, Nookie spots him, Nookie gets the kill, and he's now just gonna be looking to try and save that M4. And I think overgaming, I think it'll be very difficult for overgaming to not get their first round on the board here and make it 3 1. I mean, Hoss, we're in round number four, we're approaching round number five based on what we've seen so far. My prediction at the start of the game was going to be 16 10 in favour of Mouse Sports. What do, what, what's your prediction? Before the game, I would have probably said a little bit more in the favour of Mouse Sports, maybe 16 6, 16 7. But after that gun round from overgaming, I'd say it'll definitely be a lot closer, but I still reckon Mouse Sports will clinch it. Probably 16-10, like you said, or maybe 16-11. While we're at the start of this round, I want to say a big thank you to Valve for giving us a minimap back. <laughs> yeah, always having Always to helps. Uh, draw your own. Uh, <laughs> but as we do start this fifth round, looks like uh, Overgaming going to be playing with this A site for the start of it. Lowy's going to pick Nookie up as he went aggressive. Tabson goes aggressive as well and gets caught out as well. They got punished hard for that play there. And Overgaming, this is their round to win right here and certainly their round to throw away more importantly. They do still have all members standing. It's only Lowy who's tagged down 12 health, so only one bullet will be needed to kill him. So Alu does still have the AWP. Where's he sitting? He is back towards CT on the A site. So that could be their saving grace for Mouse Sports right now. But again, Overgaming from what we've seen so far, it looks like 
they prefer to play rounds pretty passively. They don't. They get a early frag here or there, and then it all goes quiet for about a minute. And then, like we're seeing now, flashes go out. Hallo gets one. It was on to Lowy. He was already tagged, so that's not too crucial for overgaming. But they're playing with Alu here, waiting for him to pull the trigger. Gets smoked out. He's going to change to look at Palace. His team members join him. It's four versus three. Ooh. Oh, he's gone oh. through the smoke. Oh. Leggy is just waiting outside the upside of the smoke for him. Griffin's going to get the shot onto Alu. That was a great shot there. And it's Chris J left in CT. Griffin knows exactly where he is. He's going to chuck a nade over. That's going to tag him up. Yep. And the shot through the box will end the round. And this is Mouse Sports onto an eco now, I believe. They don't have a lot to play with. 3 2. Yeah, 3 2. And guys, let us know. I've made a few changes to, to volumes here and there based on feedback. So uh, let me know how the volume is as it stands right now. So if you've just joined us, this is, well, this is uh, the uh, SLTV Star Series Season 10, sponsored by Asus ROG. It's Mouse Sports versus Overgaming, and, well, Maison's going to run straight into Alu CZ before he gets shut down by Musan Bani. Overgaming, of course, with the AKs, with the bigger weapons in hand, up against the CZs and the P250s of... The Germans. So here we go. Obviously, even though we say mouse sports are the Germans, they do, of course, have uh, a Finn in their side and Legia, who uh, I believe is Serbian. But you guys get the point. But anyways, Musambani spots Chris J, nails him in the head, and our over gaming gonna gonna push this B bomb site now. Legia is on short, and uh, judging by Auto Director's movements, I think it's safe to say something, wink, wink, might be coming this way. Here we go. Four versus three. CZ in hand for Nookie. P250 for Tabson and Legia with the new improved Deagle. We've got two CTs on A with Legia on the back of the B bomb site all by himself. Tries to get the one Deag. Misses. He's got a few more coming his way. He's going to run away. And how long is it going to take for his teammates? Oh, to rotate. Legia gets the one Deag onto Musan Bani. It's three versus three before Lowy returns the frag. Three versus two now. And let's see. Uh, how, whether the bomb's going to go down. It's going to go down. Nookie's been heard in kitchen. Nades flying towards him. Pots and pans flying all over the place. And now surely it's only going to be a matter of time until the AKs reign supreme up against the pistols. They hear Tabson. And they, well, they get rid of him. 3-3 and over gaming. They brought it back. And it's even Steven now. Yep, gives them some AKs and they're going to walk all over you it seems right now. Although Alu has picked up the AWP again. So he... Did okay last time. I think he got one frag with it. Uh, obviously, he'd hope for a little bit more. So we'll see how that one plays out. The rest of them do have M4s. They're going to be playing on the sites, probably a little more aggressively. As I say, that Nookie's pushed up, and he will get dropped for his aggressive playstyle yet again. But Tabson will get the return frag onto Musamban, and it's now a three versus four after Tabson gets flipping as well. Bomb is still round this A side, and there are four mouse sports players here. Now three as Chris J goes back towards B. Smart move here from Overgaming. Just uh, playing passive yet again. They let the early aggression phase out a little bit, and then they just go play passive. Can't really say anything else about it. They wait their time out, and then they'll go in with their nades, like we're seeing from Mazon here. He's getting ready for a smoke. He's going to probably be smoking Alu out here. In fact, that was a smoke over towards jungle and window area, so that's leggy I smoked out, in fact. Won't have much to do. As the two T's over this A site do start to push up. They don't get the entr look, entry frag. Alu does, however. So does Tabs in there. And it's all down to Kari now. He's He can afford to lose this AK. They are sitting on comfortable money here. And he'll get dropped by Legia with the M4 headshot. 4-3 to Mouse Sport, and we're going to see another gun round, it appears. Yeah, Overgaming won three rounds in a row, so they've got plenty of money as, as it stands so far. But I do think unless they uh, manage to win this round, they might find themselves forced into into a little dodgy eco. Alu, the uh, Finnish uh, master of the AWP, the uh, new player in this Mouse lineup, of course, has gone for, yep, you guessed it, the AWP. Let's go and see where he's taking it. 
We know that Musan Bani and Overgaming and Co are heading towards Theo. Hello, they spotted, I think that was Legia. Legia, he got a 1D in the same area last time round. Spots the head of uh, one of the Spaniards, gets the kill, uses the pop flash to his advantage. He knows they're coming his way. Legia gets two before going down to low his AK. Alu now lobbing nades towards, oh, he spotted the, uh, spots the, the, the foot of one of the Spaniards. And now there's no going back for Overgaming. They're surrounded. They need to either plant the bomb and play for time. Or pretty much take down these Germans one by one. It's four versus two. Chris J, the man from the Netherlands. I'm sure he'll be happy with their result in the World you Cup based on yesterday. And well, Nuki gets the final frag. And Overgaming maybe should have. They decided to push B. Legia spotted them. They waited around for a while. Maybe they should have just gone all in before the rest of the mouse sports players could have rotated. Because before Overgaming could have even come up with a with a, with a secondary plan, would come up and try and put into action Plan B. Mouse sports were already on their tails and behind them, and it, pretty much all over them. Yeah. So this is, as we've said, or as I've said before, a slightly CT-sided map. So again, three rounds early on uh, reduces the worry. Later, uh, they're gonna be forced onto another eco here as they're going to be playing pretty safe to start things out. Lowy's hoping to get the one dig here. I mean, they're starting to become a lot, more uh, a lot more common, and when they happen, they are just great moments. Hopefully we'll see one from him here as they try and enter this A site from Palace. Leggy is still hanging around this B site, not finding anything, but Nookie elsewhere, auto director, what are you doing? Nookie gets a second there, but he'll get dropped by Lowy. Absent return in the frag, and it's all down to uh, the last member of Overgaming. He won't be able to do much. There's a pretty good Antico there from Mouse, only losing one member. The bomb didn't get planted, and Overgaming are going to be able to buy for their for the for the tenth round. Yeah, here we go. Uh, Mouse Sports. When you look at the amount of money, I mean, Alu and Legia both with over seven thousand dollars. It's just... It's not going to be easy for Overgaming to overcome Mouse Sports with their current economical situation. Overgaming win this one, Mouse Sports can still buy. And we do have the Battle of the Orpers. It's Musambani who's picked up the big green cannon for the Spaniards. And of course, Alu, the new recruit, who's holding the same weapon for Mouse Sports. So here we go. Legia playing the back of B as always, alongside his Dutch right hand man in Chris J. Carries underground. Lowell or Lowy making his way towards short, whilst Musambani and uh, Flipping slowly creep down mid. Nookie's holding up. You know what? He's going to push Mason. Oh, what a mistake Nookie would make. And now, this is the, that basically calls for overgaming. There's one man less. There's one less German on the A bomb site. But hello, look who it is. Alu gets one. Alu gets two. Oh, oh Alu showing wow. us exactly why Mouse Sports pretty much. Bought him. Why is showing him why 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 he's the new recruit in this mouse sports lineup? And the mouse sports lineup, a lot of people will from him, especially in the previous star series and previous ESEA season. But now they brought up Alu, they brung Alu in from Ents, I think it was, and my word, that format was terrific. Yeah. Those uh first two early frags were crucial, and then the third onto uh just outside of Palace. I don't even think he was fully scoped for that either. It was great orping there from Alu. Forces overgaming onto yet another eco. It's starting to become common for them. Kari's not going to be able to get the 1D. He's going to get double naded down to 2 HP. That was unfortunate. Uh, on this A site, there are two members with one play in mid. But four members of overgaming are still towards this B. Kari is still very low, however. In fact, I think he's dropped his Deagle back over to Lowy. Doesn't want to risk losing that gun. Probably wait till about 45 seconds, maybe. Maybe 50 till they make a move. Usain Bani is over on this A side to cause a little bit of a distraction. Go 45 seconds left. Lowy's going to be starting to move up. Peeking round. He'll miss the 1D, but... Mouse Sports now know where the Spaniards are. Leggy gets one, Leggy gets two. Will he get a third? No, Flippin will put an end to his kill streak there. And it's just Flippin and Kari left. Both are low on HP, but that doesn't matter as Flippin will drop Alu. Chris J finishing off Kari from his double nade earlier. And it's Tabson move rotating round, trying to spray through smoke, not finding Flippin just yet. But you've got to think that this is the end of Flippin's life. There it is. 
wasn't a bad eco. They got two members. Could have got three or four as Christian tabs in the low, but it didn't give them the round. And Mouse Sports playing these anti ecos rather well, taking it to eight three and overgaming. And they're going to need to pull something out if they want to continue in this game. Yeah, they do. And uh, let's see what they're going to try and do now. They we obviously saw saw some Bunny by up the AWP a few rounds ago. Unfortunately, not even that could win him a round. And uh, they do need to try and build on these three rounds. They're pretty much all outside of A. Unfortunately for them, none of the Mouse Sports players have pushed B. Bar Lego who's coming off sh on short. And we see these quick rotations here on Mirage from, from over gaming. It really is it, it, it's, it's nice to see. And here we go. It's T's versus CT's. And they're all getting stuck into each other. It's going to be Nucky, the XNTW man, to get the first frag. Tabson joins in on the action. And here we go. Legia's rotating. Legia will get the frag. And over Gaming Hoss are just walking in one by one. It's three versus two. That's wonderful from Musambani to make it two versus two. And now, can the Spaniards finally get their fourth round on the board? Musambani knows exactly where Alu is. He spotted him, and by the looks of things, also knows where Chris J is. Oh. Alu, the man from Finland, drops Musambani. And now, it's a game of two cats and a mouse. Maison, he has the bomb, needs to pick it up. But unfortunately, his AK isn't going to be a match for Chris J's uh, auto sniper. We've seen him use it before. We know he's good with it. And overgaming, getting closer and closer to finally getting their fourth round on the board. But hey, this wasn't meant to be, I guess. Yeah, start, that round started a little shaky. Started a little shaky for the Spaniards, but then it slowly started to pull back in their uh, their favour with Musambani playing really aggressive by just running into the site, picking up one or two frags, I believe it was. But the two sniper rifles that were left for mouse balls just pulled it back and secured them the round. Kind of, I guess, lucky for Overgaming now. They've lost enough rounds in a row that they can keep buying pretty safely. I mean, they're getting. I think it's. 3.5k each round now for losing. They're more likely to be able to comfortably, comfortably buy and keep going with guns. But again, at the start of rounds, they don't seem to be doing much. Maybe one round they could surprise mouse sports with really early aggression, like a rush straight into a site. Because right now they don't really do much till about the 45 second mark. And it's likely what we're going to be seeing here again. Three members are at the top of mid, ready to approach and push either short on B or go through connector towards A. Here we go, they've pushed up towards the bottom of mid now. Still pretty passive, almost 30 seconds left this round. The nade goes across, tags up Legia just a little bit, but it looks like they're moving into this connector and they could catch Nuki out by surprise right here. He's pushed down towards steps. Now as he rotates back round, they know where he is. In fact, I think they've caught all the Mouse Sports players out by surprise here. As they pick up two kills, Lowy with the third for his team. And that was a great rotation there from Overgaming. They went down to the bottom of mid, snuck into a site, and caught the Germans off guard. And it's Alu and Chris J left, much like the last round. Now it's just down to Alu with the AWP. I mean, he doesn't need to save it. He's sitting on almost 14k right now. So, certainly... Play a little aggressive with this and die and not lose a lot. But instead it looks like he will be saving it. But yeah, great play there from Overgaming. They almost read Mouse Sports like a book. They knew Nookie would push aggressive towards T spawn. And they were able to exploit it by pushing down mid. They going into a connector and getting two early frags onto the site. And then the site was all theirs, taking it to 9-4 with two rounds left, and they're going to need these last two rounds. Yeah, I can't really see Mouse Sports being forced into an eco when you look at the amount of money Alu has. But we had some people, you know, after that really aggressive third round push, I think it was, from Mouse Sports, saying they don't want to see Mouse Sports and Nucky go so aggressive. What, what's your take on it? Uh, well, Nucky got punished, I think, twice in a row for going aggressive. Mm. That last round, it was delayed aggression, I guess because it was around like the minute mark so it wasn't straight up he was just waiting on sight and then went aggressive but he's got punished and he should probably maybe rethink his strategy going into these last two rounds and you mentioned previously about how overgaming sort of trying to anti-strat the uh, 
the 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 aggressive new Nucky yeah. that we're not normally used to seeing what he's trying to do to him. And we saw them wait around in spawn and now the pop flash comes out at mid. Uh, one for one trade at mid leaving L Chris J. I was getting ready to say Leggy. Chris J on the B bomb site by himself. We've got Tabs and hovering between both bomb sites around window room and Nucky and Alu at the back of the A-bomb side, but here we go, oh that Molotov goes in, but Tabzan manages to dodge it as he drops Kairi, leaving the Spaniards one man down, and what can they do from here, Nuki can hear him creeping in, Alu gets a frag, they forgot to check behind him, Nuki's there, and Nuki <laughs> makes him pay the price, and Nuki says, well, you waited for me to go aggressive, I didn't go aggressive, so I waited for you to come to me, easy frags, easy life, 10-4. <laughs> yeah, that's exactly what Nuki probably should be doing. Uh, yeah. He didn't really, he didn't go aggressive that round. He just sat back in a pretty safe position and just caught Overgaming off guard. They knew, Overgaming knew that Nuki didn't push anywhere, so he must have been on a site. He usually does play A, but maybe they just weren't expecting him to be there. So Mousewatts did get the round for that, and it came down to Nuki playing passive. Um, this start, this round started to look like a rush that I was hoping we may, might have seen from Overgaming. But instead, Tabson's gonna get the, look, gonna be the first to fall here for Mousebots, and Alu's in a great position to warp and through smoke, and a box will get Lowy there, and here we have Leggy getting ready to defend the B site, but Chris J with the AWP is gonna be the man to do it after Leggy a drop. It's all down to carry, but Chris J is saying no to that. He gets two frags with the AWP, 11-4 at the end of the half. I was expecting a little more from Overgaming at the end, after we saw them open pretty strong. Dare I say it, I think this game now as it stands hinges on how the this is a this is a long half time break, isn't it? It really <laughs> hinges on how this second half pistol round goes. Dare I say it, if Mal Sports end up winning it on on the less favoured T side on Mirage, you'd expect them to go on to win the next two rounds. Um especially uh if they manage to get the bomb down, they'll have so much money flowing it'd be ridiculous. Uh, and then that will put them basically at 14 rounds. I mean, they don't, they'll, they'd only need two more rounds to actually to actually win the game. So uh, let's wait and see how it unfolds. I really hope for... What are they called again? Overgaming. I'm wizards, that's it. That's it. I was thinking wizards. They were ex-wizards. Wizards. Yeah, 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 obviously I'm thinking wizards, wizards. Uh, was it again? Overgaming? Overgaming, Overgaming. yeah. Overgaming. Oh, I prefer the name wizards. <laughs> You're a wizard, Musambani. <laughs> but anyways, here we go, 11-4 in favour of the team from Germany. I guess in the World Cup, the Germans are doing a lot better than the Spaniards, and uh, yeah. as it stands, the same thing's happening in this game. Tabzen, uh, Chris J and Alu all going towards apps, and this is really interesting actually from Overgaming. What on earth are they doing? They've got pretty much three people stacked in connector, and Kairi... In, uh, in jungle, but here we go. Leggett's gonna throw the flashes towards them. Lowell and co. getting themselves in a bit of a mess, and I think the bomb's gonna go down sometime. Oh! Ooh, terrific wow. shot from Lowell. The 1P2000 into the head of the Serbian. And now Mouse Sports, well, they've got a bomb to try and protect. It's five versus four, but the bomb's ticking. Mouse Sports have time on their side, but over game, you need to pull their fingers out and get a move on. The smokes are being thrown on top of the bomb site, and I think it won't be too long until we see some sort of defuse come in. Chris J gets one, looking for the second, can't make it, but Alu is still hiding around the corner. Alu gets the headshot. He'll prevent the... Oh! Alu with three! And Alu, well, safe to say he saved the defuse there. And Alu, he's been my man of the match so far, Hoss. And he's been phenomenal so far from what we've seen throughout this entire game. Yeah, overgaming setup there was kind of near perfect to defend the uh, A rush like Mouse Sports did. But I just think their execution wasn't on par as uh, Mouse Sports were just allowed to get onto the site and get a plant down and then effectively be the CTs by sitting in CT and defending the site. Because Mouse Sports, their rotation, they had two in connector, I think, uh, one CT and then one window slash jungle. So it could have worked to defend the site, but the smokes and flashes were near perfect from Mouse Sports, and they were able to get in and get the round. And it's going to force Overgaming onto the eco, and as you were saying in the halftime break, if Mouse Sports won the eco, then they're looking at winning this game pretty comfortably now. Uh, Overgaming forced onto two rounds of pistols now, most likely, unless they go for a surprise force buy. But here we're seeing Tabson 
Getting into a firefight here from Connector onto the A site. That was Kyrie, I believe. So he's tagged down along with Loey, who got hit elsewhere. Chris J able to move around onto this short. Musan Bani will take Alu with him before Nuki gets taken down. Flipping missing those shots in connector, that could be crucial. But Mason elsewhere, Leggy is going to come into this site and pick up the kill on to Mason. It's not a bad eco coming out of overgaming right now, it's flipping left. He's one versus three. He has a 5-7 I believe that is in hand. So he can definitely do some damage. Surprised he hasn't picked up a gun from either Chris J or Alu yet. Not in this kitchen area. The bomb does go down with 8 seconds left of the round. He was maybe hoping to play for time there, but now Sports not letting that happen. Then he might just go and pick up a gun somewhere and save that instead. But no, this is this seems a little bit weird from Flipping. He's choosing to save a 5-7. I mean, yeah, it's $500. And it means he doesn't really have to buy next round. Maybe he can put that money into armor. But he could have maybe gone and found a gun elsewhere and saved that. He's playing safe, I guess. And it's going to be 13-4 now to the Germans. And it's certainly looking like they're going to take this win. Yeah, whatever floats uh, Flippin's boat, I guess. So let's take a quick look at the scoreboard. Musan Bani, the uh, only overgaming player with positive KDR. 15 kills and 15 deaths. Well, it's unfortunately Mason is at the bottom of the scoreboard for overgame. Four kills, 16 deaths. Alu, surprise, surprise, top of the scoreboard for Mouse Sports. And Chris J at the bottom with 10 kills, 6 deaths. But here we go, Flipping pushes uh, pushes a ramp and drops Alu's so far been the main danger man for Mouse Sports. But uh, let's see whether overgaming can hold on to this one man lead, which they have. Kairi has picked up that AK 47. Tabs and spots someone on short, just barely misses them, but leaves them bleeding internally on low HP. Mouse Sports going through T spawn, and I think rotating all the way from B slash mid towards A. They've left Tabs in at mid, so we might see him go through connector. Only time will tell, but here we go. Legia is going to push towards apps. Nuki and Chris J will both be uh, at the bottom of A ramp. So it's probably safe to say that we are going to see something A sided here. We're seeing Alawi and Musambani, in fact, all the overgaming players are taking the gamble on this. They're saying, right, we're all going to rotate to the A-bomb site. We win it together. We win it together. We lose it together. We lose it together. And as it stands there, losing it together because the AKs and the Galils are reigning supreme. Terrific shot from Legia. Two more CTs left standing. Will they be standing much longer? Not as it stands. Legia gets his second. And you know what? He doesn't miss from there. He's going to get his third. And Mouse Sports making it look easy peasy. 14-4. Yeah, that round they almost took a leaf out of the Spaniards' book there. They waited uh, to like almost the last moments. I believe it was a 45 second push or something like that into mm. the A site. So Overgaming had no clue and they had to rotate right at the last there at Mouse Sports. Of course, they did have the better guns. Uh, it was pretty safe. And here you go from then, they got the bomb down as well. So all was good for them. This is the first gun round of the second half coming in. Overgaming. Hopefully, they're going to feel good about this. It is certainly a crucial round because if they lose this, then they're going to be sitting on, well, next to nothing. They can maybe get a few shotguns and hopefully save the match point that way, but as it stands, this is a must win round for them. Again, Mouse Sports not rushing anywhere. They know that the Spaniards do have some firepower in their arsenal, but they don't want to risk too much. And there we go. Tabson gets the first, but Kyrie's going to push and get Alu. And it's four versus four now as Tabson gets smoked out, comes out of the smoke, gets dropped by Mazon. Leggy is in apps and we'll get Mazon there. It's a three versus three now. And the rotation comes in. Leggy, he spots Musambani and Musambani gets caught out by surprise. And he'll get dropped. So it's Kyrie and flipping left. Kyrie is below half health, but that doesn't matter as he'll get Leggy. He'll tag Chris J, that was as well there. And flipping, I don't know why Nookie had the bomb in apps. If he w if he pushed out a little bit earlier, they could have got the bomb down, and this could have been their round. 20 seconds left now. It's all down to Chris J. 22 health. He'll get the plant for some money, but I personally reckon that'll be about it. The flanks coming from apps and short. Kyrie spots him, and there we go. And they need now need to push this site, get the defuse. Looks like an easy round for overgaming. Uh, Mouseports may be playing a little bit sloppy there. 
Uh, Overgaming do get their fifth round on the board. Uh, I believe Mouse Sports still can buy. Yep, Leggy is rolling in the money. So he can drop for Alu. And yeah, so it's going to be another gun round coming out. Yeah, let's see what they can do with them because they, of course, only need two more rounds to win. Guys, if you've just joined us, this is SLTV Star Series Season 10. It's Mouse Sports versus Overgaming. This is a BO1, meaning we're only going to see this map played. And this map, in case you're not aware, is uh, Mirage. But anyways, here we go. Kairi, we can see the differences already with how Overgaming play as opposed to Mouse Sports. Kairi is trying to get right up in their faces. We saw Nuxi do that. It didn't go too well for him. And hello, Mason with the famas. Nails Leggy in the head, and well, Mouse Sports, they lost the previous round, and you do have to wonder whether they're going to lose two rounds in a row now. Nookie is going to smoke, I believe that might smoke Jungle from where he just threw it, or maybe on top of the steps. Let's wait and see. We got uh, Mason and Lowell in the back of the uh, B-bomb site. Tabson, on the other hand, is going to make it even. Steven at four versus four, and where are Mouse going to take this bomb? They're taking their time. They're taking a leaf out of Overgaming's book, Hoss. You were emphasizing how slow Overgaming like to take it as terrorists, and now we see Mouse Sports do the exact same thing. Kairi, who we saw playing really aggressive up near a ramp early on in the round, has fallen all the way back, and Tabson going through T-spawn. He has a flash in hand, and the way I see it is, I think he's just going to throw these flashes over, and we're going to see Chris J and uh, Nookie and co. push straight onto the A bomb site. Here we go, Mustang Bani actually spotted one, and now it's not going to be not going to be too long until we see the overgaming rotation come in. That nade is going to get a kill, you know. Yep, Chris J, the man from the Netherlands, blown to smithereens, and how long is it going to be until Mouse Sports are shut oh, down yeah. by overgaming? <laughs> they had no time left, Hoss, and fair play to overgaming, 14-6. Yeah, Mouse Sports left things a little bit too late there, and by the time they did decide to go for the site, Overgaming were prepared and played the defense really well. Uh, Legia had some money left over, so he's going to go for a glass cannon scout. Oh, no, there we go. He's bought uh, armor and helmet there as well. So he's evened his money out. In fact, he still has the most on the team, even after buying a scout and armor. So they do have some firepower as they go into this round. Overgaming, of course, do have the guns. They don't have an warp yet. Maybe that'll be when uh, one of their members dies. Maybe Loi or Kyrie will pick it up. Till then, they're sticking with the M4s and the picked up rifle from two rounds ago. Flipping, that's a really good incendiary onto underpass there. A great play from Flipping again on Legia there as he pushed up and caught him by surprise. Bazon as well, defending this uh, B site. Going to get the kill on Tabson through apps. There's going to be a pause coming in after this round. Chris J getting dropped by flipping. Yeah, there are Alu and Nuki left towards this B side. Where are they? Are they? Yeah, there they are. They're in apps. Mazon gets one. Mazon will get dropped by Nuki. Nookie picks up an M4. What he can do with it, we shall see. He may just opt to save this for the next round, which looks like he is doing, but it's Musan Bani. Nope, there we go. Flippin's going to come out of underpass and pick up the last kill. And we're going into a pause time here. So based on performance so far, how long do you reckon that overgaming will be able to hold on for Kainite? You see, I'm not sure because Chris J is apparently being DDoSed and yeah. and Chris J is such a crucial player for Mouse Sports. Uh, if, if 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 he doesn't sort his DDoSing out, then we could. I don't see it's Counter Strike. You know what I mean, Hoss? Yeah. We always say this, but anything can happen. Chris J says he's ready. Let's have a look at his ping. All right, his ping's back to normal. So fingers crossed for all Mouse Sport fans out there. We're not going to have too much of an issue as far as. Uh, uh, DDoSing is concerned. If the DDoSer yeah. happens to be watching, I don't know who you are, and I don't know what you want, but I will find you, and I will kill you. But anyways, 14-7 in favour of Mouse Sports. Come on, Mouse Sports, go live. Um, one of the over overgaming players has just gone to the toilet. Oh, that explains no. it then. Oh. Waiting on that. Lovely jubbly. Yeah, I mean, the CT side so far has gone okay after the start. Um, for overgaming, they lost the pistol, so they went three rounds down straight away. They ended the first half 11-4. Uh, We're up to seven now after 
In fact, this has been a repeat of the first half. They lost the pistol in the first half, went 3-0 down, then came back to 3-3, then 4-3, and then the rest was history. But it seems they start off the first gun round of the half really strong, and then decline. So we'll see if they can hold uh, their performance into this one. Now sports will be able to buy. Uh, they're sitting on around 5k each, just shy of. So it'll be hard for Overgaming to take this round as easy as the last one. Yeah, I'm pretty sure we'll see a buy come in from Mouse Sports, and the players yep. are saying go. Uh, no, no one really likes to see pauses in CS go, but you know what? Sometimes it just has to happen, because you got to remember, we're all human, and even the best of us sometimes need the toilet. Anyways, here we go. Freeze time. Pause has been cancelled. And ladies and gents, we're going live again. If you've just joined us, this is SLTV Star Series Season 10. It's Mouse Sports versus Over Gaming. And Mouse Sports, as it stands, only two rounds away from, uh, from emerging victorious in this game. And they've wasted no time making their way towards a straight away from T Spawn. And I don't think we've seen them do this before. Chris J has been left at mid. He too has an AK-47, so he might just wait around and leave it later. Hello, look who it is. It's Kyrie who's gone aggressive. But little do Mouse Sports know that Flipping is also lurking in that A-round area as well. What's Nucky trying to do with the smokes here? If Flipping actually pokes out, he'll get a kill. Tabzen is going to go down to Flipping and is the overgaming comeback real? As it stands, you know what, Hoss? It just about might be. It's still a long way for him to go if they manage to take this to eight rounds. But... It's Counter-Strike. Yeah. I've it, said it before, I'll say it again. Anything can happen. Alu and Chris J now to try and two versus five it. But Lowell is uh, looking in the right place. And he's stood in the right place at the right time to get that easy frag. And Alu, the, uh, the man from Finland, is going to go straight down. So I just want to clarify. Um, obviously, we were saying Lowy at the beginning. And then people said Lowell. And then I said Lowell. And then people were saying Lowy. So... I think we're just going to call him... I know he, he actually used to go by the name of Lowell, but we're just going to call him Lowell because that's what he's called himself. And yeah. I think we'll both go with that horse. Yeah, so... Dare I say that Kyrie did what Nookie was trying to do in the first oh. half, but better, but oh. that double nade was huge! Kyrie's on for a five-man here! Oh, poor, poor Kyrie. Flipping comes in with the last one, but that was a great double nade and uh, kills from there by Kyrie. But dare I say that Kyrie in the round before, did what Nuki tried in the first half, but just better. He played aggressive through uh, T steps on A, got the kill, and then went back. Whereas in the first half, Nuki went aggressive and just got shut down straight away. So great play coming in from Overgaming, great anti eco there as well. And they're hanging on by a thread right here. Right, let's see what Mouse Sports are going to try and do to unlock this Spanish defense. The bomb is on Nuki, hello! <laughs> Musambani, the first casualty for the Spaniards, and it looks like it's going to be Lowy to go down as well. No, Lowy still holding on to his dear life on 59 HP. Manages to get tabs in as the return frag, as he uh, was eager to cancel out Nuki's early frag in the round. It's 14-9, it could still go anyone's way, but the more CTs that drop, the less territory they'll be able to cover. And let's see what Mouse Sports are going to do. We saw them all go towards mid. Now, we've seen them do this before. They're creeping back towards T-Spawn. And they want to try and catch out over gaming. But they're not going to catch out Kairi. Oh, maybe they are. Alu gets him. And now Mouse Sports know that they need to speed this up. As Legia waits at mid. He wants to play the get right role. He wants to flank. He's just waiting. He's scouting. He's listening to see where the over gaming players are coming from. And he's going to call the rotation spots for his teammates. He heard someone go through the vent towards CT Spawn. Spawn, and now we'll be telling his teammates, guys, watch out, there's someone CT spawn, but the one man he won't be able to hear is the man on your screens right now, Mazon is a ninja, he gets the kill on to Nuki, flipping pushes through CT spawn, and Mouse Sports are slowly crumbling, it's Alu all by himself to try and get the three versus one clutch, and it's not going to be easy by any means, he's making a lot of noise, they know exactly where he is, and he needs to try and take out three CTs. Or either plant the bomb with five seconds remaining. And you know what, Hoss? He's not going to be able to do it. And over gaming. Wow. I honestly didn't expect this. And they've got so much money now. I think if they were to lose the next round to match point, they'll have enough money to maybe even consider taking it to match point. Yeah. And uh, the question that, keeps, that I keep asking myself right now is 
will there go? Will there be an overtime here? Mm. Because I can't, personally, I can't see Mouse Sports not winning at least one round here. So I'm not sure if there's that, overtimes in Star Series. Actually, yeah. I always mix it up with yeah. start, between Star Series and ESEA. Because uh, this is a ladder format, so there might be draws. I'm not 100% sure. Exactly, yeah. Uh, a draw is certainly possible here, then. Uh, as I said, I don't, I don't really see Mouse Sports not winning a round. Uh, Overgaming are looking dominating enough to take it to at least 14, 15 rounds for them right here. If they win this one, then that'll just go along with it. Uh, Flash is going out towards mid. Musambani's having to fall back a bit. Looking like an A move here from Mouse Sports. Chris J, who's over towards apps, he's toying with the idea of going apps and mid. He's going towards mid now, trying to pick out anyone who rotates from B to mid, but not going to find anyone. Musan Bani's opening things up with the frag on Tabson, but Legia's going to try and find him. He finds Flippin, and now it's just left to Chris J and Alu. As Alu comes into the site and picks up one, he's going to pick up the bomb and take it towards this site. He's going to go for a plant here, yep. He's back to CT. That was a really nice plant there. Lowy's going to come round and finish things off. Kill onto Chris J. Headshot onto the fin of Alu. And it's now 11-14 to, over to Mouse Sports, rather. Overgaming looking like they can take this all the way now. Yeah, you do have to wonder what Mouse Sports need to, need to try and do and pull out their pockets to, to really unlock this overgaming defense. Because bar the first few rounds, I think Mouse Sports won the pistol round and went on to capitalize. Overgaming have just been... Have just, I mean, people call Virtus Pro Virtus Plow. But Overgaming have actually plowed through the Germans here. So let's see whether they can continue it because Mouse Sports, they've got tons of experience under their belts, especially with the likes of Nookie. Of course, he used to play 1.6 professionally, CS Source professionally. He's represented massive organizations such as MTW. Um, so he'll be telling his team right now, look, stay chill, calm down. We can do this, but Musan Bani says no, he doesn't want him to do this. And the Spaniards have a one man advantage. Flippin is bleeding internally with only 23 points of health, but there's still time for Mouse Sports to win this one. It's going to be Chris J to scurry towards short, towards Whorehouse. Mason is going to play from the back of Van, but they're all coming towards Mason. Musan Bani needs to try and hold them from short as well. There's three CTs here over at the B bomb site. Musan Bani gets one. Is he going to get a second? Chris J. Oh, two from Chris J. That's brilliant before Musan Bani gets his third of the round, leaving it at two versus two. Chris J with 40 seconds to go, has 28 points of health and the bomb, but look who it is. It's Alu. He's pushing from behind. He's going to flank Musan Bani, leaving it at two versus one, flipping with 23 points of health. M Mouth Sports, they've got their running shoes on. They're running for it. They're changing the bomb site they want to plant on, and now flipping knows... He's, he knows he's in, he's, he's in a mess, and he's going to get done by Alu, and Mouse Sports finally managed to get that all-important round on the board. And, hey, if, there aren't, if there is no overtime in Star Series, then at least they'll know that they've uh, secured the draw. <laughs> yeah, so Overgaming can still survive to buy this round, though. So they're not in too much trouble. Musan Bani's picked up the AWP. I don't think we've seen that from him this half. I know he's been playing Window, but usually with an M4. So we'll see if that AWP buy is vital for an overgaming victory this round. But right now, Mouse Sports look like they're going to be going towards mid here. And that could be into the sights. Alu picks up one as he enters the A site. Chris J gets the frag onto Lowy. We hear orb shots going off in the distance, but Leggy is working these apps. In fact, may even just drop down and pick off the overgaming player from behind of Maison. Here we see Chris J rotating towards this B site. They thought that the rotation came in from the German players, uh, from the Spanish, the Spanish players rather, as the frags went down onto the A site. Absence still sitting in mid, seeing if anyone does rotate now. As Chris J gets the kill as he enters the site onto Mazon. Bomb, Bomb does go down. Tabson's here still in mid. Bambani onto Nookie here. Chris J is here on the site. He throws a flash out. The incendiary comes down. And it's Legia who will drop the Zambani, and it's all down to Kyrie. He gets one. He's now one versus three. 
but he's down to 7 HP and there we go. Mouse Sports just needed one round in order to get match point. And Certainly worried a few people there 